Hey guys, welcome back. What if I told you a NAS server, a wireless router, and a power bank live in the same unit? Today we're going to be taking a look at a device called the TripMate Titan, and it's a device that's trying to do that. It has three things built into it, a built-in power bank, the ability to share files directly plugged into it using, let's say, a USB drive or USB interface, and also the ability of sharing an internet connection with multiple people, so a single Wi-Fi can become multiple to you. Uh, so let's see if this is any good. Does it really stack up to what it's trying to promise us? This is TK. This is the TripMate Titan. Let's check it out. This is the TripMate Titan. Uh, model number is HTTM05. Uh, it has a built-in router, a NAS server, and a power bank. It, the company that makes it is Hutu. Hopefully, I'm saying this correctly. Um, and it's here on the bottom, it just says uh, "Network for Today." Oh, sorry, future network for today. So promising us a lot of good things. Uh, and it gives us a couple of shots of the side view here on the left, and then here, just pretty much the same thing. Uh, we'll look at the back real quick. Um, that's just more uh, contact information for North America and Europe and Asia, of course. So let's go ahead and open it up. And we are greeted right away with the unit itself. I'll take it out. Um, it has some weight as it has a built-in battery into it. Uh, and as far as the bottom here is this capacity, it's 10,400 milliamps. So the battery here is built in as a 10,000 milliamp battery. And output charge is 5 volts at 2.1 amps and input is 5 volts at 2 amps. So when we're charging it, we need to make sure that we're using a 5 volt 2 amp charger and it will output at 2.1 amps uh, as far as 5 volts. Uh, and we'll check it out. So we have a, a little opening here, opening up the USB connector. This is the micro USB charging port. This is the USB interface for NAS services as well as charging. So you can plug it in here and charge. Closing it on the left. The really nice thing that we have here is that it also supports wired connections. So this is a full size network cable connection that you can connect to it, a reset button on the side. And there, the ports on both sides are covered that gives it a nice design. And on top, we have a single button. Pushing it once gives us the ability to see that we have power. And when we do turn on the Wi-Fi, we have to press and hold, and it'll turn on the Wi-Fi at the same time. So you'll notice the green light, green blue will start turning on, and the battery starts going to the top. We'll put this on the side real quick and see what we have in the box. Uh, we do have a, a USB cable. This is a micro USB to USB type A. We'll use this for charging or for connection. And then the last but not least, of course, we have the instruction manual that gives us the functional information on how to connect to this. So normally we don't really look at these things, we don't care, but today we are going to look at this as this is not a standard configuration. Looking through the manual, uh, it's pretty simple as far as setup. All we need to know is a few things. There is an IP address that you need to connect to. So the first thing first is I do have the Wi-Fi turned on. I'm gonna turn on Wi-Fi on my phone. I'm using the uh, OnePlus 3. Let's go into Wi-Fi real quick. And we have a connection called the TripMate the TripMates, okay, TripMate S Sith, I guess, um, the 85AEO connect and make sure that you connect to it. Uh, so setup wizard, essentially you just log in and I was wrong actually, the password is uh, ones, eight ones and then you can connect to the server connection. And then once you're connected, the only thing you need to remember is that this is the IP you need to log into. It's 10.10.10.254. So we'll unlock, we'll go here. And I think if I'm not mistaken, I was logged into it before, here we go. And uh, the default password on the unit itself currently is, well, actually we leave the password empty, it's admin. And then we look at it right there. So this is the main interface of the app. It's web-based in the current form and you're able to connect to it. It tells us the battery percentage here as far as the device. You can set it up, you can explore documents, videos, and so on. Uh, what I'm gonna do just to kind of show you guys is it's NAS sort of functionality. I'm gonna plug in a USB drive to the unit. I guess it's the other way. Here we are. Um, and then we can go videos and I'm gonna give it a second actually, we'll go back once. Let's say explore, we'll let it fall. And you'll notice it's gonna give us volume one and volume two. So I'm gonna to go to volume one. And I did load a few videos in here. I wanna test out a couple of things with it. Uh, this is a video I did for XDA not that long ago. And I was just gonna use pop-up layer for me and a little bit see how it works for this. We'll give it a second to buffer. Oops. So we're we're watching actually a 1080p stream. This is 1080p straight off the thumb drive, and as you see, it's buffering. It's working good. And we'll go ahead and close it. I'll go back. I want to check it out and see how it plays 4K or 2K video. This is straight off of my DJI Osmo. Sorry, the DJI Phantom 3, and uh, the resolution on this is much higher. We'll see how that plays. Of course, I get notifications on everything. Uh, you notice the video is working good. There's no stuttering. 
This is uh, during one of the shots I was doing for my, for my video. So you'll see here, my son was trying to throw something at the camera and I almost hit it. Uh, very, very nice. So it streams audio and media pretty good. We're able to um, interface with it. We can go directly into the folder, look at files. We can copy things to our device. Uh, we can go into music if there, we had any music in, uh, files that we can load on it. And then uh, we'll go settings real quick just to see how things are. Um, information, device. So this host name, it says the HCTM05. The company, of course, vendor is Hutu. Uh, CPU load, well, of course, it has a built-in. Storage-wise, it says checking out the USB disk one, which is what we have plugged into it. It says it's the USB disk 7.4 gigs, 13% use available. So we can definitely you know, interface there, check it out. Uh, last but not least, user management. You can set up different admin and guest accounts. So when you're sharing the network connection, network setting, I did go in here and set it up. It is connected to my home network connection and that's how it's sharing my network connection. So you'll notice that I do get internet. So that was the, uh, the email that just came in just a second ago. It's connected to my network and it basically just works and it reroutes it. So we can internet connection using it and I can have multiple people log in at the same time. And then let's go back real quick. Um, service settings, we'll go in. Uh, the Samba server and then the LNA server. This is the two systems that you can use to share. So where it becomes kind of like a NAS server and you can set it up as far as, you know, password setups, what it can do and what it cannot do. Um, and of course, system settings, uh, time settings, firmware upgrade. If you do have a firmware file, you can download it and browse and update it. And then uh, reset settings, of course. Time settings, you can have it auto sync or you can manually sync it. And then we'll go back. Uh, now, the only thing you want to be aware of is if you have something plugged into it, you won't be able to connect it and charge the device at the same time. So if you're using it as an S, the built-in 10,000 milliamp battery will charge it and will give you the functions that you need. Very easy, very simple. I like it. It's very, very nice and very stylish, actually. Actually, almost matches the same color scheme as here. And then power it down by just pressing and holding the power button. You'll notice that the LED light will go off. And then it goes back, down, shut, down, and... So the form factor is very nice. It's small, it's portable, it's easy to use. As you guys can see, it's really nice. It's actually, uh, the only way I can describe it is it just fits in my hand very easy to put in, you know, like in the, in the car, just put it in and just keep it there and use it when you need it. Um, the really cool functionality is, let's say you go to a hotel and you only get one connection at a time. So they allow you to connect to one device. You can get this connected to the local hotel connection and then split it up to get four different connections on the same line, therefore saving you some money. So that's really one of the main benefits of these things. But not only that, it actually also support a full-size LAN cable. So if you're at a hotel that doesn't have Wi-Fi, you just create your own Wi-Fi hotspot just right there, not even having to worry about it. Uh, there is a reset button there if you ever have any problems with it and it defaults back to the standard numbers that you have. You can change the settings, of course, the default password being eight ones is a very simple one, um, and you can change it to be whatever you need it to be. Of course, you can set up guest accounts, which is functional because you wanna have more limited control over guest accounts, and then you can have your admin account to be the way you want it. Uh, built in 10,000, over 10,000 million battery. It's very, very nice. It will charge up your devices consistently. At least for me running with the OnePlus 3, I can go at least three times worth of full charge without having to worry about it. But if I'm using it for a NAS server or a router, it will do this for a very long time. Very, very nice. Uh, the last thing I want to mention to you guys is that this is a company called Hutu. They reached out to me and they wanted me to you know, do an honest review of this. I like this. I like this very much. I'll give you guys a link in the description below. I think of all of our power banks and all the power banks that we get out there, uh, we should get some more functionalities built into them. I mean, just having a battery inside of a case and just connecting it to a device is really cool, but there's just so many of them. And it's nice to see a fresh look at something that you can do just more. Um, again, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you very much for allowing me to review this device. Um, and again, hope you guys pick one up. I think it's a must have. Um, unfortunately, no quick charge, but again, you're getting so much more functionality there. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Thank you for the support. Initial thing, it says, let's get started. It says, swipe left for widgets. So we'll go ahead and swipe to the left, front facing camera, fingerprint sensor is at the bottom. And again, this isn't a button, it's